Okay, now I want to systematize the third masculine singular forms of the seven basic stems of Hebrew in the two basic tenses. The first row is the perfect, and the second row is the imperfect. And then each column is one of the basic stems. This is the call, this is the nifal, this is the pl, this is the pu'al, this is the hithpa'el, this is the hifiel, and this is the hofal. And I have other videos going through those. And here, to the tune of Amazing Grace, is the song. Katal, niktal, kitel, kutal, hit katel, hik teal, hok tal, yik tol, yikatel, yikatel, yakutal, yit katel, yak teal, yok tal. And what are the patterns? This is the blah, nothing added. The nifal, or passive, uh, stem adds a nun. Here in the imperfect, the nun assimilates because no vowel separated. And so a doubled first consonant is a telltale sign of the nifal in the imperfect. The doubling stem, the pl, has a doubled second letter. Isn't that interesting? And in the imperfect, the doubling and the doubling passive are, have a shava, vocal schwa, under the, under the performative. Um, you'll notice that the passives often have an O in the hofal uh, case or a U in the uh, pu'al case. Um, hithpa el has the hit on the front, uh, which in the imperfect becomes yit. The uh, telltale sign of the hifiel is a hiric yod after the second consonant. And you'll notice that in the imperfect, a patak is a telltale sign of the hifiel. Those are some of the patterns. The ground stem is just the basic blah meaning. The nifal is the passive. The the D and the DP have a what's called a resultative sense. You put it in the state of it. Uh, you put in a killed state uh, for katal here, uh, the uh, paradigm verb. Uh, the HTD tends to be reflexive. The hifiel is causative to cause to kill. And then the HP, of course, passive to be caused to kill. There you have an overview of the basic stems. Katal, niktal, kitel, gutal, itkatel, hiktil, hoktal, yiktol, yikatel, 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 yakutal, yitkatel, yaktil, yaktal. And that's it.